everybody today I'm going to show you the Windows 10 video editor I'm just going to type in video editor here in the Cortana and what you'll notice is it pulls up the photos app interestingly enough so to start a new project here we're going to click this button and we're going to name it uh, just test test video uh, and then we're going to want to put some things in our photo library or our video library I'm going to pop a video in here that I recorded earlier and you can put anything else you want in your project library that you're going to use I'm just going to use this one video what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag it, pull it down to the storyboard. So this is going to act as your timeline. If you click the play button, you'll notice it'll start playing. And that'll be your video, as is, in and out, the whole video. Um, so what we're going to want to do is add some things to this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a title. Click add a title card. It'll automatically add a three-second title card. Right-click it, go down to edit, text, you can also add the background if you want to change the background. I'm going to type in the top right hand corner, hello, just for fun. And you get a bunch of different little like little templates that you can use. You can click the layout to make it appear on different types of the screen. Um, and then uh, it just serves as a three second title for the beginning of your beginning of your program. And you can kind of situate it wherever you want. Next, we're going to trim the video. I'm going to trim this uh, one piece that I recorded. Um, once you hit trim, uh, you can kind of scroll with the left and right ins and outs and see like where I want it to go. So I'm going to trim off this first part where I was writing on this train and I'm going to trim off the end just a few seconds off the end here where this uh, deer is about to run off. So once I'm happy with where it's placed, I'm just going to hit the done button and you'll see that now it's only 43 seconds long uh, instead of 55 like it was before. So now I'm going to hit the split button. This means we're going to split it somewhere. Uh, I'll just scroll to wherever I want to split the video and I'm going to hit done when I'm ready. Um, and then you'll see it split it into two tracks. Uh, the cool thing is you can kind of click and drag and rearrange where you want things. If you want one clip in front of the other, this is where you can just kind of drag it around and see what you like. Um, next, I'm going to add text. So click the text button. Same thing as a tile slide. Add text in the top right hand corner. Pick a different um, template that you like. If you don't want any template, you can hit that quiet animated style. That's pretty uh, good. And you can also click and drag where you want it to go, how long you want the text to be on the screen. And you can click and play it and it'll do a little preview for you with a little animation, which is kind of cool. Uh, same thing with the layout tab at the bottom right. Um, but hit done when you're done. And then uh, we're going to go up to background music. So at the right hand corner, you're going to see background music. And it actually plays a lot of cool different little music for you. That's uh, must be free and that Microsoft lets you use. You can sync your video effects to the music beat, which is cool. You can change the music volume if you're talking over it. Uh, which is all nice. Hit done when you're done and then just play it from the beginning and you'll hear your nice little music playing. Uh, if you want to do your own custom audio, you can uh, just add a file from your computer. Uh, I'm just going to do Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith. Of course, you can drag where you want it, make how long you want. The thing that's annoying about this is that it plays it from the beginning no matter what you pick. Uh, so make sure that the audio is already edited. Now we're going to go to the dot menu in the top right and uh, this is where we're going to change it to 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. You typically want to do 16 by 9. 4 by 3 is kind of a old standard. Uh, and then you can click theme if you want to template out your video and just start with a template instead of you know starting from scratch like we did earlier. Uh, so I'm just going to cancel out of that. Uh, yeah, but lastly we are going to finish the video. So click finish video. Uh, under more options, it'll have hardware accelerated uh, already enabled. Make sure you enable that, but if you see any glitches in your encoding, uh, do it again, but just uncheck it. Always use high for video quality. And we'll hit export video. Then you can choose what you want to name it. I'll just call it test in my pictures folder. It does save as an MP4, which is the preferred format for YouTube. Once you hit export, it just takes a second for it to export and then it automatically starts playing when it's done exporting, which is real nice. Uh, I'll do more advanced uh, effects on a different video, but yeah, I hope this helped you out in your current future projects, and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.